The reputed mafia boss in New York City was arrested today. Joseph Messino allegedly runs the Bonanno crime family. He was indicted on federal charges of murder, conspiracy, and other crimes over two decades. Prosecutors said Messino was the last official boss of New York's five mafia families who wasn't already in jail. On the rap sheet tonight, the mob mess. In the world of organized crime, there is no greater sin than being a government informant. So imagine the pressure on a man named Salvatore Vitale. He is the former number two of the Bonanno crime family. He is testifying against his boss, Joseph Massino, who also happens to be Vitale's brother-in-law. CNN's Alina Cho now on the federal trial of the man they call the last Don. Vinny the Chin Gigante, Genovese family boss, is serving 12 years for racketeering. John Gotti, nicknamed the Dapper Don, died in federal prison two years ago. Joseph Big Joey Messino, close friend of the late Gotti, alleged boss of the Bonanno family, is the last Don. Time magazine Simon Criddle researched Messino for a year. He was able to survive because he was very, very good at what he did. Now, Mastino is on trial for seven counts of murder and racketeering. More than six made members have agreed to cooperate for the government, and a number of members, including a very high-ranking member of the family, agreed to record conversations with the leadership of the Bonanno family. Testifying this week, Salvatore Vitale, the Bonanno crime family underboss, Messino's second-in-command, oldest friend and brother-in-law, the highest-level mafia turncoat since Sammy the Bull Gravano turned on John Gotti. The most important thing is the vow of a murder, to remain silent. So to, to actually break that vow and get up in, in front of a court and, and, and seal your boss's fate is the worst sin imaginable. Vitaly has broken that vow, agreeing to testify in exchange for leniency. Good-looking Sal saw everything, he says, including the 1981 triple murder of Messino's rivals at a Brooklyn social club. He also testified that Messino ordered the murder of the man responsible for allowing an FBI agent to infiltrate the mafia, a case made famous in the movie Donnie Brasco. If you're a rat... Criddle says, unlike the flamboyant Gotti, Messino remained anonymous. He would order his men to tug on one of their ears instead of say his name when they were speaking about him, just in case someone was wearing a wire. In the courtroom, Messino's wife Josephine spends her days glaring at her brother, Sal Vitale, whose testimony could land her husband in prison. Messino's lawyer said he's not troubled by Vitale's testimony. And his client? He feels good. He feels good. Uh, he, I, uh, in, in all candor, he's been very, very complimentary and he likes the way it's going. If convicted, Messino faces life in prison. Alina Cho, CNN.